Hello everyone, I'm your substitute bus driver. I just got my driver's license today, so make sure you all stay in your seats. Wow, okay, hello my pals, my name is Holly, and I think I'm about to meet an untimely end on this school bus. The driver says, hmm, my GPS seems to have given me the wrong directions. Seriously, what gives? I'm just trying to get to school. My classmate says, you're the bus driver and don't even know how to get to school without a GPS? It's a good point. They're like, okay, look, Jalexi underscore one, two, two. I'm new. Cut me some slack. GPS says we'll be there in one hour. An hour seems like a really long time to get to school, but I guess I don't have any choice now. Wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a bee! A bee! <gasps> Did we hit the bee? Is everyone okay? Did anyone get hurt? I mean, I'm fine. Somebody asked the bee. The bee's the one that nearly got run over by like a speeding school bus driver that doesn't even know how to drive a bus. So, what happened? Sorry, I really hate bees. Whoa, that's unexpected. I thought maybe you really loved bees, and that's why you crashed an entire school bus to avoid hitting a bee. So, uh, I forgot to charge my phone. Uh-oh. Wow, this school bus driver just keeps getting more and more useless. Why wouldn't you charge your phone before work? Particularly if you need Google Maps because you don't know where you're going. Bus driver says, let's not dwell on the past. We need to see if we can find help nearby. Well, I mean, it's pretty convenient for you if we don't dwell on the past. It's not even really the past. It's kind of the present. Okay, no objective. Find help. Okay, where exactly? It's easier said than done. You could have crashed the bus in a more populated area. But this forest, I just don't know that there's anybody around. But I guess we have to look like, what else are we going to do? We need to find somebody to help us. There's got to be someone around here somewhere. I mean, I guess we could just see if any cars go by, but the road does look pretty quiet. I just don't understand why this had to happen on today of all days. I've got a really important assignment that I need to turn in. I was up all night working on it. Wait a second. One of my classmates has noticed a no trespassing sign? Private property. That must mean that somebody lives there. Maybe there's somebody there that can help us. Hey, everyone, there may be someone living in the woods on the other side of this road. Awesome, says the bus driver. I'll meet up with you guys at the house, but be careful. There's a lot of bees in there. Don't get stung. Okay, new objective, make it to the house alive. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of bees. Okay, I'm actually with the bus driver on this one. This seems so dangerous. <laughs> like, I hope that nobody's allergic to bees. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I think I just got stung by a bee. Oh yeah, I'm getting stung. Okay, good thing that I don't have an anaphylactic response to bee stings. Gotta make sure my classmates are all right, though. Is anyone allergic to bees? Wow, what is this house? This is beautiful. This is so strange. It's like the bees are protecting this house. What does it all mean? I don't know about this. Let's just knock on the door and see if anyone can help us. Oh, well, the bus driver's here. He says, hmm, did everyone make it? I forgot to do a head count beforehand. Wow, you're really not good at your job. You are literally the worst bus driver I've ever met. There could still be kids on the bus right now. Bus driver's like, thanks. Now let's find a way inside this house. What do you mean let's find a way inside this house? There's a front door. Let's just knock on it. We could use the doorbell. Okay, objective says find a way inside the house. I mean, are we really gonna climb through these windows? That seems really rude. Oh, my classmate has found an arm. Please say it's attached to someone living and very friendly who wants to help us get out of here. Uh, the bus driver's like, um, what do you mean you found an arm? I'm going to go check things out here. Oh, yep, that looks like an arm. Yeah, we've got an arm. That's not good. Bus driver's like, something's not right. We really need to find a way into this house. Okay, here's my question for you. Do we, though? Because, for all we know, the reason that that arm is there um, is, you know, due to something inside the house. I'm like, I don't think there's any other way besides the front door. The door is locked, though. Has anyone found a key to the door yet? What, we're just gonna sneak around and try to find this person's spare key? Okay, maybe they accidentally threw away the key. Let's check the trash cans. Okay, well, that's quite specific. Any keys in here? Well, there's a lot of trash cans. <laughs> Why is this house producing so much trash? Have you not heard of recycling? How many people live in this house? There's just no reason for there to be so much garbage. Well, was that Jenna? Or was that one of my classmates who is dressed like Jenna? Okay, um, hmm. Let me know in the comment section if you saw that. Because, like, I don't want to be paranoid, obviously, but I kind of feel like I just saw Jenna. So, I don't want to be starting rumors, but it looks like one of my classmates has found the key. 
Great job, Jalexi underscore one two two. You sure know how to dig through that trash. I mean, there was a lot of trash. Look, there she is. Okay, oh, uh, okay, it's all good. It's it's just um, just one of my classmates. Okay, let's all go inside. I just gotta unlock this door. Okay, well, hurry up. Being out here is creeping me out. Well, one of my other classmates is saying. Now Jenna will watch us. So what do you mean by that exactly? Can you can you tell me what you mean by that? Oh my gosh, seriously, our bus driver doesn't know how to use the keys. One of my classmates is like, just pass the keys to me, I'll do it. But the bus driver is so stubborn, he's like, I'm the adult here, now give me some space so I can focus. Do you really need that much focus to operate a key and lock situation? Okay, our new objective is just wait for our semi-useless bus driver to unlock a door. Those trees are kind of quivering. Noticing that the, that the trees are quivering. Oh, if I just turn it this way. Mm, no. Okay, seriously, just open the door. It's like you I really wanted to get inside the house. You kind of made it feel like it was really important for us to. Oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh. 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 Okay, I was freaking out before, but I'm freaking out now. Um, I feel like there's someone watching me. Okay, where is she? Okay, the bus driver's like, oh, I had it backwards. Hold on. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Oh, dang. Folks, have it, guys. Calm down. Calm down. Start to focus. My brother in Christ, there are girls trying to kill us. You're going to have to hurry up. Like, seriously, open the door. Okay, you got it open. Hurry inside. Okay, but how am I supposed to get inside? Because the Jennas, they also want to get inside. I need to get inside, but we can't let in to kill our girls. I'm shutting the door. Okay, good. None of them got in here, right? How many of the Jennas got inside? Or are they all outside? Okay. Yep, there she is. Ah! That was scary. I guess at least we're inside the house now. The bus driver's like, sorry about that. Turns out I was using the wrong key the whole time. Okay, you hold the world record for smallest brain, okay? Genuinely don't understand how you're in charge of children. Whoa, says the bus driver. I have a world record? Jalexi underscore one, two, two. Do you really mean it? Oh, M, G. No, I don't really mean it. Uh, I can't help but feel like we're missing a few people. Huh, okay, well that would be your job as the adult. Oh well, now it's time to see if anyone's home. Are you seriously just, just skipping over the fact that we've lost some of our classmates? Okay, new objective, search for the homeowner. Mm, oh, nope, oh, nope, <laughs> I thought I found them in the basement for a second. It's just one of my pals. Um, yeah, no, I don't actually think that anybody's home. It's like this place seems like it's kind of been trashed. There's a bunch of boxes in the basement, but... I don't want to move anything. I mean, we have committed a break and entry. So, I mean, I guess moving boxes isn't that big a deal. Yeah, I found two doors upstairs, but they're both locked. Whoa, what's these? What is these? I don't think that anyone's lived here for a long time. My classmate says, has anyone found a key to the bedroom doors yet? Well, no, I haven't been looking, but I guess I could start. I haven't, but maybe they're locked because they're sleeping. Um, guys... Yeah, yeah, what is it? What is it? Is it an emergency? What is it? Tell me what it is. What? Um, okay, starting to make me nervous. Oh my gosh, what now? Yeah, seriously, what now? <laughs> I have some bad news. Oh, I really don't want bad news. What's the bad news? I dropped my cell phone near the bus. Probably on the road somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, you want your cell phone that doesn't have any battery? <laughs> okay, what do you want us to do about it? Okay, we're just kids. I'm just a kid trying to get to school. I didn't expect any of this. I need someone to sacrifice themselves to go grab it. What about you? You want more students to risk their lives to fix one of your mistakes? Yeah, why don't you go look for your cell phone, sir? I'm the only one here that knows how to drive a bus. So if anything happens to me, then you won't be able to get back to school. Just shut up already. We don't want to hear about it. Well, I'm getting salty. Well, whoever decides to do it, shut the door on the way out. We don't want those weird girls getting in. Wow, okay. That's how it's going to be, is it? I like how he's claiming to be the only one who knows how to drive the bus, but he said like 10 minutes ago that he only learned how to drive it this morning. Okay, new objective. Volunteer to get the cell phone. Like going back outside. Wow, okay. I accept. I have volunteered. I accept the risk. Bus driver's like, thanks, quite cute horn. We need more students like you. Good luck out there. Okay, just to be clear though, I'm not doing this for the bus driver. I am doing this for my fellow students. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, I gotta run the gauntlet of Jenna's. So, 
bit scary for me. Oh no, I'm on the outside. <laughs> okay, where are they? Okay, I've got a minute to retrieve that phone. And are they going to come out of the forest to try and attack me? Where are the girls? The killer girls. Okay, I had pretty good luck so far. Maybe the genus have gone. Maybe they're not all bad. Maybe... Oh, that's that no trespassing sign. Okay, if I were a cell phone, where would I be? Oh, here we go. That looks like it. Yes. Okay, here they come. <laughs> oh, no. The girls, the girls are coming to get me. Oh, my gosh. I don't like how they run. Ah! They form like a conga line. <laughs> oh, no. I'm being chased by an evil conga line. <laughs> Look at them. Okay. Oh, no, there's more of them waiting. Get out the way. Ah! Oh my gosh, I made it. Okay, here's the phone, everyone. Yeah, that's right. Quiet unicorn made it back with the cell phone. I am a hero. No thanks to you, Mr. Bus Driver. Nice work, quiet underscore unicorn. I'll need to put that on a charger. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So we actually have to find a charger in this like house that we've broken into. I'll call the school once it's charged. You guys see if you can find the bedroom keys, okay? <laughs> It's okay, so you're just gonna be charging a phone and, um, oh, new objective, search the basement. Looks like those keys are down here somewhere, but I mean, I, we're gonna have to move these boxes. There's just no other way to do it. I really don't know why the bedroom keys would be down here in the basement, though. It's a bit of a mystery. Oh, Jade Serpent has cleared away the boxes in the basement. Oh my gosh, all star. Hey guys, let's check the boxes of trash down here for a key or something. Oh my gosh, more trash? Just cardboard boxes full of trash? What is this trash house? Why do they like trash so much? Like, not only are they producing trash, they're also storing their trash in cardboard boxes for later. Like, what is, what is the point of this? Oh, Jade Serpent has found the key to bedroom number one. Incredible work, everyone. Let's go check bedroom one for the homeowners. Can you imagine? They're like cowering in their bedroom upstairs because they can hear that there's like a million people in their house downstairs. They're like, no. Okay, let's try to unlock this door. Okay. Okay, we're in. Oh my gosh, it's been trashed. It's been completely trashed. What is this? It's a big pile of trash. Okay, it doesn't actually necessarily mean that anything bad's happened here because as previously mentioned, the people in this house love trash. Oh, whoa, we found a notebook. Um, guys... You're gonna wanna see this. Uh, okay, the way you're saying that makes me feel like maybe I don't wanna see it. What did you find? Says the useless bus driver. It looks like a journal that someone recorded information into. Oh no, is the information pertinent? What does it say? It says. Entry number one. Timmy hasn't been back to school for a few days now. I'm a bit worried. I hope he's okay. Entry two. One of Timmy's friends told me that the last time he saw Timmy, he was with the new girl, the transfer student. I need to find out who she is. Maybe she knows something. Entry, Entry number three. three. I, I found, found out, out that her name is Jenna. I tried to approach her, but something about her just creeps me out. Maybe she's responsible for his disappearance. Now, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but did Timmy have arms? Or did he used to have arms? Just a question. Entry number four. I'm going to follow her home after school. Something in my gut is telling me to run. But what if he's in trouble? I need to find Timmy. Entry number five. I can't find Timmy. I've looked everywhere. But I think Jenna is on to me. I've been hiding in this empty bedroom when she comes home. I'm surprised she hasn't noticed me yet. Wait, what? Is this Jenna's house? Or is this your house? Whose house is this? Why is Jenna coming home? It seems like Jenna is always around now. I can hear her footsteps. And then the door closes. Then I hear her footsteps again. I think it's only a matter of time until I'm found. Okay, I'm a little bit confused about what's going on here, but um, sounds scary. Sounds ominous. And then the rest of the pages seem to have been torn out for some reason. Wow, there must be important information there. Do you think that girl outside is this Jenna person? More stunning insights from our incredibly intelligent bus driver. Uh, yeah, I reckon that's probably Jenna. Um, probably... But why are there so many of them? That's a good question. Has she cloned herself? Why has she been cloning? Well, what if my classmate here who looks like Jenna is a plant? Maybe she's a clone. Um, did you? Uh, 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 uh. What? What was that? Who's knocking? I think that came from inside bedroom number two. Oh my gosh, there's someone inside of bedroom number two. I think they're trapped. You think someone locked the owners in that room? I don't know. Try calling through the door. Hello? Owners? Are you in there? Or is, is it is it Jenna? Um, so who's going to be the one to open it? Well, we need to find the key first. 
I mean, do we want to open the door? Maybe we should ask them some questions through the door first. Like, hello, are you... Are you a killer Jenna? Oh, no, it's open. Okay, it's already open. Oh, this is... Hospital vibes. This is giving... Insane asylum. I don't love it. And Jalexi underscore 122 has found a notebook. I think I found the other half of that last notebook. Oh, that's interesting. Why would they split the notebook in two? Everyone, get in here. This is probably important. Okay, yeah, there might be some more important information in here. Maybe something that can help us defeat the Jennas. <gasps> Entry number seven. Somehow I've been able to hide from them. I've left half my notebook in the other room in case they catch me. I'm going to try to leave this cursed house as soon as I can. Wow, okay, so it's not her house. Okay, is this the Jenna's house? Why is the house cursed? The footsteps have become constant throughout every hour of the day. I'm positive that Jenna must be working with someone. <gasps> but who? Take your theories to the comment section. Entry number nine. I was able to sneak down into the basement and block off the entrance with boxes of trash. Convenient boxes of trash. Entry number 10. I found a metal hatch down here. I think it must be a secret entrance or something. I'm going to explore it, and maybe I'll finally find Timmy. Oh, hmm. Do we think that she ever found Timmy? Entry number 11. As I was exploring, I came across a maze behind some boxes. My instincts told me not to go that way, so I didn't. The other way happened to be an exit. When I escape, I'll need to block the path somehow. Wow, that does sound like pertinent information. Entry number 12. I'm going to leave this notebook in case anyone else comes across it. I never found Timmy, but I need to save myself while I still can. Good luck. Dang, this tale has got some twists and turns. I wonder if we'll ever find Timmy. And that's where it ends. I guess there's a way to get out of here in the basement. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be important information for us going forward, particularly because I'm pretty sure that we're going to be completely surrounded by Jenna's. We were all too scared to open it, but it looks like it may be our only way to escape. Yeah, I wonder where it goes. Bus driver says, we should probably relax here. Seems pretty safe so far. Those girls are probably all back at school by now. Um... There's a bunch of Jettas around the house! Oh my gosh, look at them all! Oh my gosh! Quickly, we need to go before they get in! Okay, let's uh, get to the basement and get through that escape hatch. Yeah, I'm so glad that we found out about the escape hatch. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. There are so many Jennas. Oh, they're everywhere. They're like at every window and every door. Let me into the escape hatch. Oh no, it's stuck. It's stuck. Um, we don't want an escape hatch that's stuck. Oh, okay, it's opening. Come quick. We've only got a little bit of time left. <gasps> Come on. Whoa, what was that? Was that the front door? Okay, I think they may have broken down the front door. I think we got into the escape hatch just in the nick of time. But what if they come down the escape hatch? Wait, Jen is coming. Oh my gosh, what do you mean? Are they, are they? Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, I think we're being hacked. Okay. Jump down here, everyone. Are we missing anyone? I'm not sure, but if they didn't climb through the hatch, Jenna's definitely got them. Wait a second. Remember what it said in that notebook? Bus driver says, the notebook said something about a maze and an exit, but it seems like the exit is blocked by something we can't move with our bare hands. Okay, yeah, the notebook did say that, but it's not what I was thinking. Oh, I'm like... I guess that means our only option is to go through the maze then. Go through the maze? I don't want to. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared of mazes too. You could get lost in a maze and never find your way out. You could just be wandering there forever. Calm down. Would you rather just sit here and starve to death? We need to move. Okay, Um, it's not very calming when we talk about starving to death. Uh, bus driver says, can you both stop fighting? We need to stick together. We're going through that maze. Well, more, more like you guys are. Uh, I'll wait here. Wait a second. What do you mean? We need to stick together, but you're not coming with us? Why am I not surprised? Uh, actually, maybe that makes some kind of weird sense. Um, buds? Uh, I've just had a pretty uncomfortable thought. See, remember how in the... Okay, there's a skull here. Okay, I think we found a skull. That's not good. Uh, anyway, so remember how the notebook said something about Jenna working with someone? Well, I've been thinking about it, and I'm a little bit sus on that bus driver. Like, 
He is truly unusually incompetent. Ooh, I've got a crowbar. Yeah, all right, got my crowbar just in case. And what is this? I found a crowbar, everyone, at the end of the maze. Yeah, I've got the crowbar now. Oh, the bus driver says, I think we can use that to open this metal grate. Kawaii Unicorn, come back and try it. Okay, I will, but I think that we should be keeping an eye on this bus driver, okay? I think he's really sus. Let me know in the comment section if you think that I am being paranoid, or if you think that this bus driver is super sus. You know what? The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Like, why are we even in this forest to begin with? Because of the bus driver. And like, who is the one that said that we should go in that house? It was the bus driver. <gasps> oh, I've opened the metal grate. Okay, here we go. We are... Oh, I think this is the exit that the notebook was talking about. But it looks treacherous. Let's hurry, says the bus driver. We need to get through this. I'm actually a little bit worried. My classmate's like, oh, I don't know about this. Yeah, I don't know about it either. I've got some concerns. In fact, okay, I've actually, I, there's some more concerns. Actually, about 25 more concerns coming. Someone's like, what was that? Well, um, actually, it was a tsunami of Jenna's coming to attack us. And oh my gosh, no escape. Oh, that's so creepy. I think the Jennas are trying to hack our Roblox accounts. That is so like the Jennas. They just love to hack those Roblox accounts. Um, okay, we need to get to the exit and we need to get there really, really quickly because there are like a hundred angry Jennas hot on our tail. And, oh my gosh, we, but we can't forget, we can't forget to keep an eye on the bus driver because I swear they are so sus. And like, here's something that's a bit freaky. Like they were like really insistent that we needed to use this exit. So like, why? Like, are they leading us into a trap? Hey, you guys down there, climb up here and grab my hand. Objective, grab Z's hand? Who is Z? I mean, I thought if we were gonna find anyone down here, it might be Timmy, but Z? Um, Z, who are you? Oh, oh look, oh, no, he's trying to save us. Z, our hero, unless you're a secret Jenna. You're not a Jenna, are you? If you're a Jenna, tell us now. Oh, okay, I think that Z's busy. Pulling everyone up, but uh oh. The power of Roblox gives me strength! Wow, he moved that all on his own? Z! He's a hero! Are you all okay? That was pretty intense, to be honest. Yeah, it was pretty intense. See? Hold me. Yeah, says the bus driver. I think uh, everyone made it back alive. I uh, protected them. That is lies. He is lying. So he's like, Are you? Sure, all the students that were on your bus are here right now? He's like, yep, yeah, every single one of them are here from the bus crash. Um, are you sure about that? Wow, said Z, that's awesome. I'll have to let everyone know that you are a hero. A hero? <laughs> no, no. I'm just the uh, world's best bus driver. Oh, um, well, let's get you all back to school now. Come on, what, we just have to go to school? After all that? Oh my gosh, my assignment! I need to turn it in! Can't believe we're getting back on the bus with this absolute psychopath who doesn't know how to drive and... Wait a second. What, what was on top of the bus? Is that... Jenna? Hello, my pals. My name is Holly, and this is my babysitter, Riley. She just arrived. <gasps> and she's already got a game for us? Find all the teddy bears in the house? This is incredible. Okay, so Riley the babysitter has just arrived and already she's hidden 10 teddy bears all over the house. I guess she wants to like set up a fun game for the kids to play. Riley says, great job, everyone. You found all the bears. Tom's like, yay, this house looks so fun. Um, Tom, this is my house. How did you get in here? I guess Riley kind of is a babysitter for the whole neighborhood, so it's fine that there's lots of kids in here. Riley says, we can play soon, but let's eat first. See, that's how you can tell that Riley's a good babysitter. She wants to make sure that we're well fed. Riley says, what do you guys want to eat? Oh my gosh, do we get to choose? <gasps> a pole! Burgers, pizza, burgers, pizza, burgers, pizza, uh, pizza! Okay, guys, says Riley, looks like pizza won the vote. Okay, I'm pretty happy that pizza won the vote. Let's head into the kitchen and get some to eat. Yum, I'm so hungry, I can't wait to... <gasps> oh my gosh, get off the pizza! Why did you put your... Oh my gosh, your feet are on the pizza! Ew, now it's toe jam pizza! Two can play at that game. Yeah, I too can stand on the counters. Tom's like, can we play now, Riley? Poor Riley, this place is chaos. Riley's like, sure, head into the playroom so we can start. Wow, we sure are lucky to have Riley as our babysitter, a perspective that I'm sure will not change during the course of this video. Oh, la macaroni, have you ever seen a playroom like this? It's like there's a playground, but also it's kind of like library vibes. <gasps> Riley says, so this game is called The Floor is Lava. Oh my gosh, I think I know this one. 
Riley says, don't touch the ground and let's see who can win. Well, I'm gonna stay up here on this bookshelf because there are not very many places to stay away from the lava in this playroom. Riley's like, ready? Go! Okay, I am ready. Oh no, I'm not ready. <laughs> what happened to my bookshelf? <laughs> it's okay, I can uh, hop up on this Rubik's Cube. Um, you can share my Rubik's Cube if you like. Riley, you're still on the floor. Riley, your feet, they're about to get eaten by lava. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh wow, she's immune to the lava. Okay, Riley. I am impressed by you and your lava-proof feet. It's a pretty good trick, and I do appreciate it. Well, um, I guess we'll just see how uh, the rest of this game plays out. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Some of the kids are getting swallowed up by the lava! Great job, guys, says Riley. Thanks, Riley. That was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. Tom says, that was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome, and I did have a lot of fun. Luciana wants to play again, but I'm kind of wondering when my parents are going to come back. Riley says, maybe tomorrow. It's getting late. But if you sleep now, we can play again tomorrow. Wait a second. Does that mean that Riley's babysitting us overnight? Wow, that's so weird. I thought that mom and dad were going to come home today, but hmm, okay, strange. Tom says, awesome. Let's go, guys. Now, Tom is extremely enthusiastic about an early bedtime, and I don't like to argue, so I guess I better just come up to the bedroom here and uh, find myself a bunk. Okay, pink bunks look pretty good. Top or bottom, though? Hmm, top would be nice, but bottom is easier to get to, so... One more chance to reach for the stars? Nope. Okay, why can't I live out my top bunk dreams? Why am I being denied? Hmm, uh, if my mom and dad were here, they'd probably be able to lift me up onto the top bunk. Riley says, good night. Okay, good night, Riley. Heading off to Snoozy Town. Population me. Wait a second. Tom says, guys, did you hear that? I did hear something a bit weird, and oh, it looks like some of my brothers and sisters have already taken out their baseball bats. I'm like, yeah. What was that? It was a pretty strange noise. Yeah, what was that, Riley? Wait, where is Riley? Riley? <gasps> it's a monster! Looks like you're coming with me, kids. We are doing nothing of the sort. We are on our way to Snoozy Town. Oh no, Tom says, guys, run! Okay, um, okay, I can run, but where exactly am I supposed to run? We're just in like a circular room. Okay, I guess we'll just run in circles. Ah! Run in circles, everyone! There's a monster with flames coming out of his head! Yeah, that's right, I got my baseball bat out. Yeah, you don't want a piece of this bat. Oh, wow, he's really fast and creepy. What is going on here? Where is Riley? Riley should be here to protect us! That's like the, the number one rule of being a babysitter, probably. Okay, I want to know in the comment section how many of you have been a babysitter before. Maybe you've babysat for your little siblings. Maybe you've babysat for your little cousins. If you have, I've got a very important question for you. If you're babysitting and a monster appears, do you go protect the children? I think probably the answer is yes, but yet Riley is nowhere to be seen. So I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty suspicious. So I tell you what, the second I get away from this monster with the flames coming out of its head, I am going to need to have a word with Riley. Ask her where she's been. This, oh, it's her. Riley says, what's with all that noise? I told you kids to go to bed. Riley, thank goodness you're here. There was a monster and it had flames coming out of its head and we were all waiting for you and wondering. Tom's like, Riley, thank goodness you're here. We saw a monster. That's right. And I need some comforting. Riley's like, seriously? That's your excuse? Oh my gosh, she doesn't believe us. No, S says Kapi09. Really? It tried to unalive us. Like, it was real scary. We had our baseball bats out and everything. Riley says, oh, please, get back to bed now or else we won't play tomorrow. Won't play tomorrow? Riley, we have had a really traumatic time and now you're threatening to take away our playtime? I Love Honey is like, what was that about? Tom's like, I don't know, but let's just go to bed, guys, or else Riley won't let us play. While Tom is really invested in playtime tomorrow, I am a little bit more concerned about the monster, but to Snoozy Town we go. The next morning. Come downstairs, kids. It's time for breakfast, says Riley. Riley, it must be known that I had something of a sleepless night on account of being chased around my bedroom by a monster with flames coming out of its head. So I gotta say, I don't know that any breakfast could really make up for... All of that, but ooh. Riley, where's the breakfast? I thought maybe you would have pancakes or, or something. My brother in Christ, what are you doing in the sink? Riley, I can't believe you woke us up and there's not even Pop-Tarts or cereal or something. I don't know. I mean, like, pancakes or, like, French toast or something would obviously be my preference, but oh, here she goes. Riley says, what would you all like to eat? Waffles or pancakes? Waffles, please. Okay, eat up, kids. Then we can play a fun game. 
Riley, I love the fun games at all, but when are mom and dad coming home? And these aren't waffles at all, these are pancakes. Tom's like, ooh, finally! What game is it this time? Tom loves the game. Tom cannot get enough of the game. Riley's like, let's play hide and seek. Head into the playroom. Well, I haven't finished my pancakes. It's fine. I'll just finish them up real quick. Riley says, I'll seek first then. Give you guys some time to hide. Okay, actually, you've won me over. It does actually sound pretty fun. Riley says, ready? Go! Okay, oh my gosh, we're, we're starting already. Tom's like, where should we hide, guys? I mean, we could always go down to the basement. Has anyone been down to the basement yet? Oh no, I love Honey the Bunny says, I think we should hide upstairs. Good idea, says Tom. Let's go. I haven't actually looked for many hiding places up here, so let's have a look. We could, ooh, hide under the bed. That's not a great option. Hmm, there's gotta be some more places to hide somewhere. This room is really not that good for hiding. <laughs> go hide in this corner. It's kind of a silly hiding place. I don't think this is a very good hiding place. I don't know that I'm gonna do very well in this game. <laughs> Whoa, says me. Look, I found a key on the ground. Oh my gosh, I did. A bright pink key right in the middle of the bedroom? What could that be? Tom says, wait, this key must open the basement door. The basement door? Hmm, that sounds a little bit creepy. Oh, but maybe we could hide down there. Oh my gosh, that's actually a great place to hide. Hopping over the stairs, heading down to the basement. Okay, let's unlock the door. And I think that Riley will probably never even find us down here. And maybe we get to see what kind of cool stuff is in the basement. I feel like this is a win-win. So let's go down, everyone. Oh, look, it's Tom. Come on, Tom. Let's head to the basement. Have you got the key? Unlock the door, Tom. Oh, there he goes. We should hide down there, says Tom. Oh my gosh, that's what I've been saying like all along. I bet there's gonna be such good hiding places. Cuppy says, yeah, she'll never find us down there. Basement. Hey, guys, did anybody else notice that the music's changing? I'm a little scared. Oh, this is a bit strange. What's going on down here? Whoa, this place is creepy. I mean, it is a little bit creepy. And look at that huge door, says Tom. We've got crates, we've got cardboard boxes, we've got a giant vault. I don't think we're supposed to be down here. Well, I'm curious to know what's behind this door, says Tom, who has suddenly become incredibly bold. Aren't you? Tom, a second ago, all you cared about was playing the game. Hmm, fine. Let's do it, says E. Oh, okay. Holy cow, this place is foggy. Yeah, this is a little bit strange. Kind of looks like a secret lair, says Tom. <gasps> Wait, what's that down there? Oh my gosh, I think we found the monster. Uh, Tom's like, let's get a closer look. Tom, is that really a good idea? Do we really want to get a closer look? I don't know if I do. There's all sorts of weird stuff down here. This place is strange. Is that, is that the monster's costume? And its weapons? Wait. It's not even a real monster. It's just like a costume. Tom's like, guys, I think we're in the monster's secret lair. Quick, guys, we need to tell Riley. Okay, no, we need, we need to think about this. There's something very strange going on here. <gasps> Tom says, what the? Ah! Oh, uh-oh, oh, cough, cough. Where are we? Oh, okay, this does not look good. Um, So I have no clue. We fell down a trap door, says Tom. I do notice um, quite a few skeletons though. OMG, there's skeletons everywhere. We're all going to pie. Yeah, it's really not looking good, is it? Tom's like, we have to figure out a way to escape this place. Oh my gosh, Tom, that's kind of obvious. Look, there's a tunnel this way. Okay, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't really want to listen to Tom. He says, but look at the signs. It means there's danger that way. We have no choice but to keep going, says Tom, who has not considered any other choices. Loot the skeletons for weapons so we can protect ourselves. Wait a second, all of a sudden we're robbing graves? I don't know about this, but I mean, I do love protection, so I guess we'll just see if the skeletons have anything, anything to offer. I don't know, though. I'm not finding any weapons. Oh, it looks like other people did, though. Tom says, now, come on, warriors, let's fight our way out of here. Okay, I don't really have... Oh, I've still got my bat. Got my trusty bat. Let's go, everyone! Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe we are not going. E says, oh no, we can't fight them! 
Fight who? Oh, these, um, oh, reanimated skeletons. Tom says, guys, don't give up on me now. I know you're all scared, but I know you are warriors. Remember when the monster was chasing us in our bedroom? You were all fearless. Okay, I actually don't mind the pep talk. Tom, thanks very much. I did feel a bit fearless. I need you to be fearless again. Right here, right now. What do you say, warriors? He's really going for like his gladiator moment or something. Okay, you know what? I'm into it. Let's get it. He says, I'll fight by your side, Tom. That's what I want to hear, guys. Now let's show them who we are. Charge! All right, Tom getting philosophical. I'm just going to try to bash these skellies. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way! We did it, guys! That was way easier than I anticipated. Actually, Tom's like, I knew you guys could do it. Thanks, Tom. Now let's keep going. Yeah, we do need to keep going. Not only do we need to figure out what is going on with this monster business, but we need to get back to Riley, tell her what's going on, and mom and dad might be home soon and they're gonna be worried about us. Tom says, hmm, these planks are covering the way out. Try hitting them and maybe they'll fall off. Yeah, these planks are no mess for my baseball bat. Just gotta keep breaking, keep batting. Oh yeah, there we go. See, told you it would work. Okay, well now we just need to find a way out of here. Uh, hmm, this doesn't look good. Tom says, Looks like the only way out is just over there. But we have to get through those moving stones first. Wow, okay, some more lava. Tom's like the lava is rising too. We have to be quick. Okay, we've <laughs> stumbled across a real life game of the floor is lava, but you know what? We have been training for this. We've got to cross the moving stones. Tom, you just got to rem- Oh, no, nope, someone just fell. <laughs> um, Tom, you just got to remember. Remember when we were playing the game, the floor is lava? That was all preparing us for this. And now it's our time. Okay, everyone be very, very careful. Last time we were just playing around, but this time it's no joke, okay? So we gotta move carefully. We gotta be sure-footed. We gotta be sure-footed little billy goats. We gotta get to the other side. That was close. Okay, cool, we did it, Tom. Which way next, Tom? Oh, wow, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of us left already. Um, looks like the babysitting crew is just down to three. Me, Tom, and this guy. Tom's like, look, we can escape up that ladder. Yeah, that's what we were trying to do, Tom. We were trying to move quickly. Whoa, where are we now? This is a bit strange. Oh, look, this looks like a lab facility. Wait, who is that up there? Wait, is that Riley? Riley's like, kids, is that you? Riley, thank goodness you're here. But what are you doing in this secret lab? She's like, I was looking everywhere for you guys. Well, thank goodness that you looked in the secret lab. Tom is so relieved. He's like, Riley, we went through this giant door in the basement. We found this scary lair and you're never gonna believe it. We found this monster suit and wait a second. How did you get down here, Riley? Riley, how did you get down here? Riley's like, so you guys saw everything, huh? I say, ellipsis question mark. Yeah, I've got some questions. Riley's like, that was my secret lair. And you guys weren't supposed to see that. Welp, now I need to get rid of you guys. Wait a second, Riley? What, 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 do, you mean, what, do, you mean, what do you mean by that, exactly? I'm sorry, kids, says Riley, ellipsis. Riley, don't do anything you're gonna regret, Riley. Oh no, fog! I'm like, Tom, what do we do now? Tom's like, you guys need to get through the air vent. It's your only hope. What do you mean, you guys? What about you, Tom? Yeah, what about you, Tom? You guys have to go on, says Tom. I'm, what is it, Tom? I'm feeling tired. No, Tom, don't give in to the sleepiness. Don't go to sleepy town, Tom. We're not leaving without you, Tom. You have to fight, remember? Remember, we were warriors. You told us that we had to be warriors. Promise me one thing. What is it, Tom? Tom, tell us. What is it? That you'll keep fighting until the end. Oh no, he's coughing. And don't let Riley get away with this. Oh no, I think Tom might have had it. Tom, says E. Tom. Oh my gosh, dramatic oof. Oh my 
Look at that face, Tom! I wish I could take that Hawaiian shirt with me just to have something to remember him by, but we have to go! We have to get through the vent! It's our only hope. Come on, E! I'm like, I can't believe we lost Tom, cry face. I don't know what to do. Well, perhaps there's something that I can do with this control system. I'm like, I don't know what to do now that he's not with us. Come on, guys, think. We need to get out of here and stop Riley. I don't know, I feel like the answer is probably somewhere on this control panel. Uh, ready? Maybe we can click a few buttons to open this door. All right, current objective, press some buttons. I love pressing buttons. Maybe this one, that one's pretty good. <gasps> oh no, I clicked the wrong button. Self-destruct, initiated. Okay, that doesn't seem like a good thing. Uh, quick, try the next one. Uh, the one next to it. Okay, come on. We have to get out of here. The door's open. Um, let's just forget about that whole self-destruct business and let's just get out of here as quickly as possible. Okay, let's go. Come on. I think I might be the only surviving person and oh, just kidding. There's Riley. And where do you think you're going? Well, Riley, I know we've had our differences, but this place is gonna blow up. So you probs have to let us go. Like the whole thing is gonna come crumbling down and we're all gonna be underneath the rubble. Riley says, I'm sorry, kids, but I can't let you walk out of here alive. Okay, Um. well, just so you know, you're going to pay for what you did to Tom. Riley's like, fine, you made me do this. Um, Riley, I did not make you do anything. And just so you know, you're definitely gonna pay for this. And I'm going to be telling mom and dad. And you know what? I don't think that you're gonna get a good reference if the other neighborhood parents ask what you're like as a babysitter. I'm gonna have to mention that I had to defeat you in a giant boss battle. And not only that, it actually took away precious time where I could have been doing my homework. So yeah. Take that, I'm gonna get you with my bat. Wow, Riley is really tall. I'm like, I'm like pretty tall. So I think that means that Riley is like eight feet tall. Oh no, no, I can't give up. I gotta continue, I gotta buy a revive. I promised Tom, I promised Tom as his last breath was leaving his lips that I would not um, just give up. You know, that I am a warrior and all that, uh, that I was gonna get Riley with my baseball bat, make pay, all that. Um, yeah, so let's just do a little defeating. What do you say? One eternity later. Riley, why do you even want to be a babysitter? Why would you build your secret lair underneath my parents' house? None of this makes any sense. Now, for the last time. Ah, says Riley. <gasps> All right, guys, says Riley, you defeated me. Oh, incredible. I was hoping that we might do a little bit of defeating. I'm sorry that I did all of this to you. And Tom, get his name out of your mouth. I'm like, we all trusted you and you tried to unalive us. I cannot simply forget what you've done. I think it's well deserved to leave you down here. Riley's like, I know guys and I'm sorry, but please don't leave me down here to pie. I don't deserve this. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. Do you remember what you did to Tom? Leave Riley. Sorry, Riley, says me but this one's for Tom. Wow, gonna exact a little bit of revenge. No, <laughs> says Riley. Oh no, oh my gosh, okay, it's getting a little hectic. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> wow, okay, that was revenge. And it was fiery. Hello, my pals, this is Holly. Today I am playing a brand new adoption story. Will I get adopted? Will I be doing the adopting? Um, Dunno, let's head into the adoption center to find out. Am I a parent to be? Am I a baby? Oh my gosh, it's Chain. <gasps> Chain! Chain himself is here. He's the creator of this story. Okay, Chain, tell us what it's all about. What are we doing here at the adoption center? Oh, why have we got baseball bats? <laughs> Chain, I played your stories before and this is really a good sign. Oh look, I'm tiny. <gasps> I'm on a giant welcome mat. Chain says, hey, welcome back kids. The adoption center missed you. I mean, yeah, I missed you guys too, but why am I back here? I thought I got adopted. I'm sorry your last family didn't work out, but we are going to find you guys a new family. Okay, no problem. I'm sure that my new family will be really, really nice. Chain says, don't worry. Hazel from last year won't be with us anymore to scare you. Oh, thank goodness. I've actually had to completely block out all of my memories of Hazel. Chain says, we have a brand new adoption center. Go and explore your new home. Wow, look at my new home where people keep leaving coins everywhere. That's a bit exciting. Pick those up in case I need them. Oh, they say, is it really you, the YouTuber? Yes! It is me. 
I am real and we are probably going to get adopted together. Bit exciting. Can't wait. Ooh, what's this? Hangy balloons. Okay, that's cool. What else have we got? Check out the rest of the adoption center. Oh my gosh! It's the adoption center kitty! That's a bit cute. Ooh, more coins. I'm gonna save all my pennies so when I go to my new adopted... Oh. Um... What happened to the lights? Um, chain, my fellow adoptees, does anybody have a flashlight? Ooh, what's this? Some sort of countdown. My friend says, something is happening on the television. Let's go and see. All right, let's go to the television. This usually isn't a good sign, though. What if it's one of those news reports of, of something awful happening? Okay, let's check it out. Oh my gosh, all the other kids are like so excited. Why are you jumping? This could be bad. I think this might be a bad announcement. I mean, it could be good news. Oh no, it's an emergency broadcast. <sighs> cool. Hmm, what's happening here? This is a warning being issued to the people of Robloxia. A monster has escaped. Okay, that definitely doesn't sound like a good thing. The monster previously kidnapped kids before being captured. And then what does the monster do? Does he take the kids for a frozen yogurt, maybe? The monster is still on the loose, in hiding. If you see the monster, please call emergency services immediately. Okay, and static, end the broadcast. Back to regular life. Sure doesn't feel like an escaped monster is gonna try to kidnap us, but Heart for Love says, oh no, what are we gonna do? Yeah, I guess you're right. We probably should come up with some sort of plan. Chain says, hee hee, I'm sure that was fake, kids. There's plenty of fake news out there. I mean, that's true, Chain, and it is always good to check your sources, but I don't know, it seemed kind of convincing. Chain says, anyway, look on the bright side. The parents will be here soon. Wow, I hope my new parent isn't the monster. Wow, look, a car, it's arriving. Maybe it's our new parents, although the car doesn't seem to be driven by anyone. Is anyone actually in the car? <gasps> Chain says, they are here. Quick, everyone, go back to your bed and look ready to get adopted. How do I look ready to get adopted? I genuinely don't know what that means, but that's fine. I will get into my bed and I will wait here for the new parents to arrive. Everyone, hop in your beds. We want to make sure that... Oh, Oh, sorry, I think you're in my crib, but that's fine. We can share. Okay, you stick with me, kid. We're gonna be so adoptable. Oh, they disappeared. <laughs> that's fine. Um, I think that our parents are almost here. Oh, look, there they are. There's the new parents. Mom says, hey, we are looking to adopt a few kids. Chain says, well, you came to the right place. We have plenty of amazing kids here just waiting to be adopted. Dad says, hmm, let us take a look. This is really how adoption works. <laughs> Guess it does in Roblox world. All right, kids, we're all in our cribs and mom and dad are coming around. <gasps> look, they're looking at us all. Mom, look over here. Pick me, pick me. This is all very sad. <laughs> Pretty wild that they're adopting multiple kids. Mom says, okay, we don't want to separate the kids, so we'll adopt everyone. <gasps> you got that right. Dad says, kids, get in the car. We are going home. How big is this car? <laughs> There's like a lot of us here. Okay, I want to get to that car quickly because there are definitely not going to be enough seatbelts for everyone. Oh, no. There's already a bunch of kids in front of me. Oh, it is a big car. More like a school bus. Oh, my gosh. Do you think mom and dad will be worried that all the kids are like bringing their favorite baseball bats? <laughs> Like, yeah, mom, it's pretty rough here over at the adoption center. You don't want to go anywhere without your comfort baseball bat. It is um, both soothing and protecting. Because I didn't have to worry about seatbelts because there are actually no seatbelts back here. We're all just going kind to of be rattling around in the back of the car. Oh my gosh, are we home already? This place is enormous. Wait, who's that? Is that my new sibling? Wow, I can't wait. Open the door, open the door. Oh, he's mom. Wow, mom's so pretty, and dad looks like a like a movie star. Dad says, welcome home, kids. <sighs> Thanks, dad. Can I call you dad? Is it a little too early for that? Or yeah, no, I'm just going to call you dad. Mom says, feel free to explore your new home. Get comfortable. Thanks, mom. I sure hope you don't turn out to be evil. But first, meet Max. Uh, great. More people to steal attention from me. What do you mean more people? Have they adopted other people? Mom's like, he's joking. Dad says, now, to explore the house, we set up a scavenger hunt for you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mom says, find 10 lollipops placed all over the house. Um, do you think Max will mind? 
Did anybody double check to make sure that Max is getting a lollipop too? Because I don't really want to upset him here on his turf, considering he doesn't seem to like us already. <laughs> um, anyway, we're looking for lollipops. Did I just say Huawei Pops? Lolly Pops! I'm gonna look upstairs. Indiana the kitten opened the basement door? Oh my gosh, Indiana is brave. I would not be looking in the basement. If I were you, what does this do? Oh. Oh! Okay. We've got some drawers that open. Dad's like, great job. You found them all. Now to go to your bedroom to pick your bed. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, I like this one. Cute! It's a top bunk, it is pink, and it is right next to the window. That will be my bunk. Oh, what's happening now? <gasps> oh, it's someone called Jerry. What's up, guys? I'm Jerry. I live across the street. I'm your neighbor. Okay, Jerry, but how did you get in here? Hi, Jerry. We just got adopted today. Oh, okay. Just telling Jerry our life story, apparently. That's awesome. Me and Max are best friends, but we could use some more friends to play with. I say... It's good to meet you. We'll hang out soon. You can go. This is kind of our bedroom. Why are you in here? Mom says, kids, it's getting late. Get into bed. We can play more tomorrow. Okay, someone asked Jerry to leave. Okay, Jerry's gone. Okay, let me know in the comment section if you are sus on Jerry. I feel like Jerry or possibly Max, they're like suspect number one. They could easily be a secret monster. Anyway, that's a problem for tomorrow, Holly. I'm already basically asleep. Falling asleep and no, so snoozy and oh, good night. Uh-oh. 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 The door. It looks... Hey, wait a second. Wait a second, is that... Jerry? Um, Jerry? Are you kidding me? You have no boundaries, sir. <gasps> Shh. It's just me. Jerry, open the door. Don't open the door for Jerry. Oh my gosh, who opened the door for Jerry? Jerry, it's 2 a.m. What are you doing here? It's a good question for me. Jerry's like, guys, I say we sneak out tonight and explore the new neighborhood. Jerry, you live here. This is not your new neighborhood. Like, do mom and dad even know about this? I am definitely voting stay inside. I don't want to go out with Jerry. That guy seems weird. Just like coming to our bedroom at two in the morning. It's very strange. Jerry says, I'm going to force you guys to sneak out. You need to have some fun in your lives. Um... Jerry, you can't force us. Follow me downstairs, but don't step on the noisy steps of the stairs. Okay, but that looks like a lot of noisy steps. Oh no. Oh no, that's a lot. That's a lot of noise. Someone's going to step on the noisy steps. We're going to make mom and dad. Actually, what if we do it on purpose and then they wake up and then Jerry can't force us to go outside. Hey, how about that? Although I don't want to get in trouble. Oh no, Heart for Love just died on the noisy step. I didn't know the noisy step was also the deadly step. Jerry, heart for love, and Alexa died on the noisy step, and you don't even care. <gasps> Janine just also died on the noisy step, and Jerry doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. Jerry, why are you so unfeeling? Okay, heading out into the dead of night with someone named Jerry. Jerry, what's this all about? Suflo7 says, this better be worth it, Jerry. Jerry's like, it will be. I want to show you my secret hangout spot. Oh, gosh, this is just getting worse and worse by the second. Jerry says, watch out for cars driving by and follow me. Wow, a lot of traffic at 2 a.m. Um, okay, I guess I'll just follow Jerry, who seems determined to walk down the middle of the road. We could just go on the sidewalk. See how I'm here on the sidewalk and it's much safer? Um, but that's fine. Jerry is an agent of chaos and likes to walk in the middle of the road at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's fine. He also seems to be impervious to cars. Oh my gosh, is this his secret spot? Okay, Jerry, you know what? I doubted you, but this actually is a pretty cool secret hideout. All right, you know what? I love it. It's like, is it a pier? Is it a gazebo? I don't know, but it is so cute. And oh my gosh, it's very cozy here. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's cozy because you've added all of these like couches and chairs. And, and it looks like there's even somewhere where we can look at the stars. Jerry says... This is where me and Max hang out all the time. Okay, I mean, it is pretty cool. But I'll tell you a scary rumor going around, though, about the boathouse monster. <gasps> Another monster? They say there's a boathouse under this cliff where only the scariest kids hang out. What do you mean? <laughs> Why are the kids scary? <laughs> are they like monster kids? They say a monster crawls around the boathouse looking to eat anyone who enters. Gulp. 
I'm scared. Maybe, maybe we should head back now. Yeah, I mean, it is getting a little bit chilly, and also it is, um, like, three o'clock in the morning by this point. Jerry says, okay, fine. I'll lead you scaredy cats back home. Follow me. What? We're not gonna hang out in the, in the, in the cool hangout spot? Just, oh, no! What? What just happened? Oh, my gosh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! The bridge! Oh! Oh, dang. Oh, I think I'm in the ocean. This ain't good. Wait a second. The boathouse. The boathouse. Are, are, are we underneath the boathouse? Oh, it's Jerry. Jerry, help me. Help me, Jerry. Uh-oh. Oh, is he giving me a hug? Is he... What? What's happening? Jerry? <laughs> I'm scared. Ouch. The bridge broke. We fell into the scary boathouse. And the gate is locked. We are stuck. Uh oh. Oh, this ain't good. Something's happening. Is it the monster? <gasps> oh no. It's worse. I think it's the scary kids at school. All the scariest kids. Um, Jerry, we've got a bit of a problem. The bully says, Well, well, look who we have here. Fresh meat. My buddy Indiana the kitten says, Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want any problems. We just got lost, okay? We didn't mean to be in your boathouse. The bully says, well, this is our hangout spot. Get him, boys! All right, good thing I brought my comfort bat along. Yeah, you're not gonna like old Batty. I learned a few tricks down at the adoption center. Jerry just standing there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're in a full-on brawl. Oh my gosh, we're brawling. Jerry, why are you just standing there? Jerry, help us. We're trying to brawl. Jerry's like, I hate bullies. <gasps> Whoa, the sun's up and it started raining. Hmm, great. Now it's raining. We need to find shelter. Well, I mean, we could go in the boathouse. Jerry's like, we have no choice but to go into the haunted boathouse for cover. Well, Jerry, I mean, I do think we have a little bit of a choice. Like, how haunted is the boathouse? Is it, like, haunted in the way that, you know, I'll never see mom and dad again? Or is it haunted in the way that we might get a little bit of, like, a, ooh, like a little bit of a, ooh, like a, like a little spook? Because um, if it is very haunted, um, I'd rather stand outside and get wet, you know? Like, a little bit of rain's not gonna kill me. But it appears we have chosen the haunted boathouse. That's fine. Look, there's a control room, but it's locked. Well, we probably don't have to go in there. Oh, Jerry says, let's find something to break this door. Look for a hammer. Okay, <laughs> why are we breaking the door? Jerry, there's just no end to this destruction. Wait, we've all got bats. Why do we need a hammer? We've got bats. Okay, um, oh, looks like Jerry has, um, yeah, he's breaking down the door. Jerry, what are you up to? Oh, I get it. Okay, so Jerry is trying to find a button to control the gate so we can escape the boathouse. It actually is a pretty good plan. I'm just gonna press heaps of buttons. Um, oh, there are a lot of buttons. Um, should I just, yeah, I'm just gonna press heaps of buttons. Um, you guys let me know if the gate does anything, okay? So buttony, buttony, button. Oh, oh, whoa, yeah, that's a button. Okay, that's a big button. Do we want, do we want to pull that one? Might be special. Indiana the kitten says, what's this? Do we press it? Yeah, press it. We love pressing buttons. Everyone wants to press a button. Three votes for press the button. What would you vote? Let me know in the comment section. Would you press the button? Or do you have incredible self-control and you would manage to not press the button? Couldn't be me. I will be pressing. Pressing the button? Uh-oh, shouldn't have pressed the button. Fools, you trapped yourself. The boathouse monster is real. Now you'll be mine forever. Oh, no, I'm being attacked. Um, okay, that's not good. Ah! <laughs> Jerry, watch out! <laughs> Jerry, we're trapped. Oh, no, I think the monster's attacking Jerry. Uh, oh, no, the monster is not interested in Jerry. <gasps> the news broadcast did say that the monster kidnaps children. And, and maybe Jerry's, like, a little bit older. Maybe Jerry's, like, a teenager. And so the monster is only interested in us. This is awful. <gasps> oh, no! Indiana, the kitchen just died! But she was my sister. We were adopted together. Okay, monster, standing on top of those boxes. I am gonna get you, and I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to Indiana the Kitten, you hear me? It's like, obviously, I didn't want a monster kidnapping children generally, but now it's gotten personal, okay? I, it does look like I am running away, but you know what? I'm just biding my time. I'm gonna get that monster. Just at the moment, my current objective is to run from the monster, but eventually, I will defeat the monster. I believe I'm like only, there's only two of us left and Jerry? Jerry's so useless. <gasps> Jerry, what you doing? What, what, what you doing, Jerry? <gasps> oh my gosh. What, what, what is it? <gasps> the gate, the gate, it's opening. Jerry, you found the button. Okay, Jerry, I take it back. You're not useless after all. Jerry's like, 
I have opened the gate! Okay, we gotta get there. We gotta get there quickly. Oh, it looks like there's a car coming. Or, or a truck? Who's driving it? Oh my gosh, it's... <gasps> Max! Hop in my truck, guys! <gasps> Max! I can't believe you're here! Max! He's saving us! We gotta hop in the back of Max truck! Alright, let's get it! Jerry! Oh, that's the wrong way. Jerry! <laughs> no, good, wrong way! Come here! I gotta get to the truck! Okay, where's the gate? There's a gate! Okay, battle way! Gotta hop in the back of the truck! Max! I can't believe you came to save us! You're so good! Okay, okay! In the back! Okay, everyone else! Come on! Alright, let's go, Max! Oh, I'm gonna hide in the front here. <laughs> Come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, better stay in the back of the truck. Okay, what about Jerry? 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 Jerry! We have to stay in the basement so our parents don't hear us. Oh, Jerry's here. Well, it's all good. I was a little bit scared that Jerry got left behind, but panic over. All good. Um, Max is like, but what was that monster? Uh, it's a good question. So um, that was the boathouse monster. It was real, and we need to hide somewhere. Like, really quickly. Max is like, not the boathouse monster. It's time. I have a secret. <gasps> Max has a secret. Tell us your secret. Oh, I have a top secret room that I only use for emergencies. Hurry, go in. Oh my gosh, Max has a panic room. That's a bit fancy. I didn't know you were rich. <gasps> what is this, Max? You've been holding out on us, bud. This is wild. Max is like, I added an obby for extra security from intruders. But it's easy. Oh, is it really that good security then? Max is like, jump down the hole at the end of the obby and I'll meet you there. All right, Mr. Max, hero saver from danger. I will meet you down the hole. Just gotta get through this obby first. Oh no, my pal, my last sibling who was adopted with me who has now perished in the very easy obby. Wow, that's sad. I hope that they respawn. Okay, we're almost there. And down the hall. All right, Jerry. Hello, nice to see you. Um, whoa, why are we in this glass room? This is a bit freaky. Um, hope that this wasn't a trap. Do we think that this was a trap? It's starting to feel a little bit trap-like, but I have to wait like 10 whole seconds to find out, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, Jerry, do you think your best friend might be the monster? Because, um... I feel like we're running into a little bit of a problem here. All right, time to find out. Now what? We are stuck in this room, says I. Yeah, I mean, Jerry, have you thought about this? I'm not sure, but why is there smoke coming out of the pipes? Okay, this is all starting to seem a little bit bad. Jerry, Jerry, what have you done? I'm scared. I'm afraid. I am full of defer. Oh, uh oh, okay, now I'm trapped in a tube. Um, anyone else trapped in a tube? Hey, Max, buddy. Was this what you had in mind when you said we were gonna... Okay. Yep. Lots of tubes. But I seem to be the only survivor. Um, where are we? Help! Jerry is missing! What's going on? Jerry better not be a double agent. It's double agent Jerry. <gasps> it's Max. He's looking stumpy. Okay, Max. Good news, bad news. Are you gonna let me out of the... Let me out of the tube? Or Max is like, finally! You are all awake. Um, why are we in here? And... Where's Jerry? Is Jerry in like a separate room? Like a different tube or... Oh, Jerry, let's have a look, said Max. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh. Looking for me, fools. You are all so easily trickable. <gasps> what? Um, okay. You guys planned to trap us? This was all a big plan? But Jerry, saving us from the bridge, the fighting, it was all fake? Jerry, was it all just a big scam? Are you a big scammer? That's right. You guys took my parents and thought you could take my best friend. <gasps> Max? I was not going to let that happen. And now I'll finish you off myself. Okay, I'm like the only one here. So this is starting to feel a little bit personal. Oh, at least I'm out of my tube. Time to fight. My good little upgrade from old Batty. Yeah, what if I attacked you with a lightsaber? What would you say then, eh, Max? Max and Jerry? Yes, look at my rainbow lightsaber. Yeah, now I can really take him down. Ooh, okay. See, I'm just trying to make this a fair fight because I should have all of my siblings here to help me, not just this lightsaber. The only thing standing between me and certain destruction. Oh. One eternity later. And maybe you should just talk 
back to your mom and dad instead of trying to feed all of your adopted siblings to a monster. Okay, Max? Have we worked out our issues now? Well, we haven't actually completely worked out the issues because you still killed Indiana Kitty and she was my favorite. So I am going to attack your chains. Now, oh, the chains are broken. Max is like, no. And then I hope he dies dramatically. Oh my gosh, he fell into the lava. Yes. All right, defeated. We love to see it. He's melting. He's thinking about what he's done. I'm like, what now? Jerry is still alive! Oh my gosh, he is. What you did is not cool. And we can't be friends anymore, okay? Because I'm not friends with people who, you know, trick me and trap me and just get us out of here. Uh, no, 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 our business is done here, okay? And Jerry's like, okay, 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 you know, I, I get it. <gasps> to be continued. Oh my gosh, a cliffhanger. Hello, my pals, this is Holly. I am on my way to a job interview on the high seas. Now, the job description said, must be swashbuckling and love plunder. I'm not entirely sure what I'm getting into, but ooh, let's find out. Wow, Mermaidia, she looks cool. Ahoy, mateys, says Mermaidia. Oh my gosh, I love her hair. Who here wants to be a pirate? Is the, is the job becoming a pirate? Me, please, I wanna be a pirate. This is the most exciting job I've ever interviewed for. That would be really fantastic. <gasps> Look, I've already done an outfit change. Ooh, my new outfit is um, a little bit holy. If yar want to be a pirate, yar need to talk like a pirate, says Mermaidia. Can yar say something all pirates like? Well, I'm already doing it, so actually, shiver me timbers? I am the gal for the job. What do you think? Blow me down, quiet unicorn. Yar sound perfect. Okay, I think we're doing good so far. I, I think she really likes me. Okay, Mermaidia says, next. If yar want to be a pirate, yar need to look like a pirate. Grab something from our fashion closet, then return to me. Wow, I gotta say that I am really relieved that this is not my final look for being a pirate. Oh, wow, yes, yes, this looks like a look. Oh my gosh, oh, look at my outfit. I love it. Stripey pants, that's a look. Love my pink. Oh, there's actually, gold is pretty cool too. Oh, just jokes, I am going for purple. Let me know in the comment section which color pirate outfit you would be choosing if you were aboard the boat today. Up on the deck here, Mermaidia seems to be loving the outfit choices. Now you're ready to meet the captain. Oh my gosh, you're not the captain? Who's the captain? Ahoy, crew, says Captain Party. <laughs> you're looking sound great, but if you're gonna be a pirate, you're need to dance like a pirate. Out of fire stance. <laughs> Go to the trampoline and show us your dance moves. <laughs> yes, I don't even know if I know how to dance like a pirate, but I'm gonna do my best. Is this right? <laughs> what do you think, Captain Party? Am I doing it? This is honestly like the most fun job interview I've ever been to. Captain Party says, watermelon sugar, I give your dancing a 12 out of 10. You're officially party pirates. Am I a party pirate too, Captain Party? I know my pirate dancing might not have been as good as watermelon sugars, but I can dance a mean jig. Or maybe it says, party pirates love to have fun in the sun. Oh, that is so me. I am definitely a party pirate. So who is ready for swim time? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's actually really hot and, oh, oh, wait a second. One of my friends doesn't know how to swim. Oh, apparently none of us can swim. I don't know if we're actually gonna be great pirates. Captain Party is like, oh, I see. Yeah, it is a bit of an issue. Mermaidia is like, okay, let's think. What about beach play? Okay, I love the beach, says Watermelon Sugar. It's actually a pretty good idea, but it is still kind of dangerous that we don't know how to swim. Captain Party's like, great, I will hand out your party pirate gear. I'm like, do we get swords? Like, I don't want to be over anxious or anything, but I was kind of looking forward to the sword. Oh, actually, party pirates get plastic beach shovels. Okay, um, land ho, says Warmedia. Here be a sandy beach. Okay, got to admit, was kind of hoping for a sword, but the plastic shovel is really nice too, and I don't want to be ungrateful. So let's head to the shore with Mermaidia. She says, come on, we can build a giant sandcastle. There be digging sand up top. Let's be digging deep. Wow, when you learn about pirates, you don't always hear about their love of sandcastles, but it does kind of make sense. All that time on the high seas, like of course they're gonna want a cute little beach vacation. Oh wow, <laughs> how did I get to the top of this palm tree? Okay. 
here we go. This looks like the um, sand pit where, oh my gosh, I'm so efficient. I take back every bad thing I said about the plastic shovel. This shovel is incredible. <gasps> Captain Party noticed me. He's like, great digging, kawaii unicorn. Yeah, that's right. Wait, why did we fade to black? I hope that nothing bad is happening. Never mind, just taking it from day to night. Captain Party's like, now we built the giant sandcastle. Blow me down, said Mermaidia. That's her favorite thing to say. You made the best giant sandcastle. Go ahead, explore the giant sandcastle. I would love to. Wow, we built this whole thing? Oh my gosh, there's a, there's a dungeon. I guess every good pirate home does need a dungeon. So it's really nice that we decided to include one. <gasps> we also need a scullery. Okay, so if anybody else has any brilliant creative ideas about what other kinds of rooms or things that we should be including in the giant sand castle, let me know in the comment section because I'm becoming a career pirate. Like this is not gonna be the first giant sand castle that I build. I might collect some of this pirate gold that someone has very foolishly left up here. Wow, I am getting rich. We actually haven't discussed my pay packet as a, as a pirate on the high seas. Oh, Mermadia says, is that a ship off in the distance? <gasps> Where? Oh my gosh, is it is it a rival ship? Is it is it a rival group of pirates? Or is it someone that we should be pirating? Hey, it looks like there's somebody up in the crow's nest. There's somebody up there. Oh, they look angry. Ahoy there! Oh no, it's Captain Meanie! Well, if it isn't the party pirates, har 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 har! Yar built the best sand castle ever? Not! Oh my gosh, he's rude! He is Captain Meanie! I know how to make your sand castle way better. Okay, I'm open to constructive criticism. Fire the cannon! <laughs> no! Not the sand castle! Captain Meanie, why would you do this? Oh my gosh, it's falling apart! Maybe I can take shelter in this palm tree? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, maybe I can't stay here. Okay, I'm gonna stay here in safety. Oh no! Um, that was a narrow escape. Where are we supposed to hide? Okay, this is quite stressful. Why is he shooting cannons at us? Okay, I need an explanation from Captain Party. Why is Captain Mini doing this? Like, is he our nemesis or something? Ooh, that's a bit spicy. Don't mind having a nemesis. Your sand castle is now flat. Ha ha ha. Oh no, Captain Party's crying. He says, it's not nice to flatten a pirate sand castle. Yeah, he's right. Captain Mini says, you're not real pirates. You are losers. Your clothes are ridiculous. What? My nice purple shirt? Your shovels are plastic. Um, actually, that's just temporary. And you are terrible dancers. We saw you and we laughed. That is the captain meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. Now excuse us while we go find all the treasure. <gasps> and just like that, they disappeared. Captain Party, do not listen to a single thing he said. I think that your dancing is wonderful. Mermidia says, Captain Party, are you okay? Maybe Captain Meanie is right, says Captain Party. Oh my gosh, look, he's still crying. I let you all down. I'm a bad captain. I am sorry. Don't say that, Captain Party. This is not your fault. Mermadia is like, you are the best captain, and this is the best crew. And I know how to have the most fun. Yeah, we are way more fun than Captain Meanie. Like you would ever want to serve on that ship. We are going to find the treasure first before Captain Meanie. Yeah, that'll show him. And we're going to have fun doing it. Captain Party says, I once had a treasure map, but I lost it on the ship. Oh, okay, well, have you looked for it, like, real thoroughly? All right, party pirates, back to the ship. It's time to find that treasure map. Dry your eyes, Captain Party. You've got nothing to worry about. This is a classic case, a, a tale as old as time. We all know how it goes. Your pirate nemesis makes fun of your dancing, and then you have to outwit him by finding the treasure first. It's, it, it's classic. Oh, wow, Mermadia says, Watermelon Sugar found the treasure map. Great job. Captain Party says, Look at the treasure map. There is more than one X. That is pretty unusual. I wonder what it can mean. Party pirates, where should we look for treasure? Okay, we got two choices. We could go to Ruby Ridge or Emerald Isle. What's more valuable, rubies or emeralds? Maybe rubies? I'm gonna go with rubies. All right, let's do it. Ruby Ridge wins. Wow, okay, I really hope that this was a good decision. I guess, if, if we don't find anything at Ruby Ridge, I guess we can always go to the Emerald Isle after, right? Unless, 
Captain Meanie gets there first. Land ho, says Mermadia. Here be Ruby Ridge. I can't see it. Can anyone see it? Oh, whoa, looks like Ruby Ridge is tiny. Captain Party says, go straight ahead. The big X marks the spot near the treasure. Okay, well, it looks like up here. Oh no, I think the treasure's all the way over there. How are we gonna get there, party pirates? Should I go down and investigate? Hmm. Oh, maybe I should <laughs> How do I get back up. Okay, uh, maybe we need a little bit of a plan here. Oh, I do want those coins. Oh, look, a floating rock. Oh my gosh, amazing. I can get all my pirate gold, and I think it'll take me to the other side. Oh, Watermelon Sugar says it's a dead end. How can we pass? Yeah, this looks like a job for my plastic shovel. Ha! <laughs> Love it. I'm like, we dug through? Come on! Plastic shovel's not so silly now, are they, Captain Meanie? <gasps> Wait, look! Those are pirates from Captain Meanie's crew! Oh, wow, and they look mean. We are gonna need to run past them. Hurry! Okay, but do you think they've already got to the treasure? Okay, I guess we can figure that out later. <gasps> oh my gosh, these pirates are fast! Come on, Watermelon Sugar, we gotta do this for Captain Party! You saw those tears! He was real sad! Keep moving forward, I say. We are getting closer to the big X. I really, really hope that the treasure is still there, but this place is crawling with Captain Meanie's pirates. Like, what are the chances that they haven't taken the treasure yet? I don't know if I like our odds. Okay, let's have a look. How do I get up there? Okay, I'll collect some of this pirate gold. Here we go. Look at the size of that X. All right, might have to start digging. Watermelon Sugar says, we made it to the big X. The treasure should be near. Okay, so should we like start digging? We've got two shovels. We can do some real efficient digging, but oh, but there's nowhere to dig. It's solid rock everywhere. Oh my gosh, you're right. That's so strange. Look, there's a ship in the distance. Oh no, it's Captain Meanie again, isn't it? He's probably gonna say something real mean. It's gonna make Captain Party real sad and then everyone else is gonna be sad. Captain Meanie, what have you got to say for yourself? There is no treasure here. I already looked, and I couldn't find it. Well, maybe you didn't look hard enough. Time to play my favorite game. It's called, I'm a bit worried, Raining Cannon Bars. Oh, that is such a mean game. Fire the cannon. Har, har, har. Oh no, he really is gonna fire the cannon. Okay, there's gotta be somewhere I can hide. Okay, just gotta avo avoid, avoid the cannon balls. That's, that's all we gotta do. I just got to allow myself to be fueled by spite. Because I will not allow Captain Meanie to get away with this ridiculous behavior. Oh my gosh, Watermelon Sugar says the cannonballs blasted the caves open. Oh my gosh, look at this. We got to dig. There's sand pits everywhere. Maybe the treasure is here after all. Oh, that would be so good. I would really, really love that if Captain Meanie's mean cannonball explosive behavior ended up getting us the treasure. That would be so ironic. I would love. Okay, come on, Watermelon Sugar. We just got to survive long enough to get that treasure. Okay, let's have a look over here. Oh no, watch out for cannons. Where is this treasure? Oh my gosh, it's really well hidden. Down here? No. Where could it possibly be? Oh, careful. Yeah, it's a lot harder to dig and look for treasure when you are also getting bombarded by cannonballs, like, constantly. Okay, let's look through here. Oh, look, there's more! There's more sand pits! Oh my gosh, I found it! I found it! Captain Party's gonna be so happy! <gasps> Captain Meanie says, Quiet, unicorn, you found my long-lost treasure! Yeah, that's right! And it's our treasure now, and we will never... Never give it to you, Captain Meanie. If you had been a bit nicer to us, we might have, you know, shared it. But do you know what I was doing while you were digging? Oh, what? Oh, no. It's something mean, isn't it? Were you pecking your nose with your big hook? <laughs> yeah, were you? Just a bit of pirate humor for you. That's how you do things when you're a fun pirate. <gasps> no! I tied up Captain Party on your ship. And I captured Mermadia! Oh no, she's crying! She's scared! Don't cry, Mermadia! We're gonna save you! Then we will fight for Mermadia! Let's go, party pirates! Yeah, that's right. We are not gonna take this lying down. I'm gonna smack him over the head with my plastic shovel. What do you think about that, Captain Meanie? Hey, I'd like to invite you to a party. 
The guests include me and my shovel. Oh, are we serving food at the party? Yes, we will. We will be serving shovel directly to the face. <gasps> you fools fell right into my trap. What? What do you mean? What trap? You are surrounded, meanie crew. Attack! A trick? A trap? Surrounding us? This is the meanest thing you have done yet. And this isn't even a fair fight. You've sent your crew with swords and, and I just have a plastic shovel. I mean, obviously I love my shovel, but I feel like this is a little bit unfair. Oh my gosh, and the cannonballs. This is madness. Gar. I'll sink the entire island and I'll get rid of the whole lot of ya. Oh my gosh, he's gonna sacrifice his own crew? That is horrible. <gasps> he sunk the island. Oh my gosh, he did it. Blast! My cannon jammed. Excuse me while I bend over. Quick, <laughs> paddle, Captain Meanie! Yeah, get our plastic shovel, sure, paddle hard. That was so satisfying, I want to paddle him right into the ocean. You're no match for my matey crew. One eternity later. Quick, he's bending over again! Paddle, Captain Meanie! Yeah, our plastic shovel, sure, paddle hard. That's right, Captain Meanie, and there's more where that came from. Wait a second. Look, it's Captain Party. He's alive, and he escaped. He's here to save us all, and he's not crying. Sorry I'm late. I got a little tied up on my ship. Yeah, he's back. Yar, just in time to see me flatten your party pirate crew. And I'm going to laugh while you cry like a baby. Again. Don't be so sure about that, Captain Meanie. I can stop you with my trampoline. Her, her, her. Are you trying to oof me with laughter? Fire the cannon. Watch out, Captain. It's, it's coming right at you. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Well, I like where this is going. <gasps> yes, I love it. You bounced my cannonball. So not fair. Oh, Captain Meanie, now you want to talk about what's fair? And now my ship is sinking. You will pay for this dearly. Meanie crew, throw Mermadia overboard. Har, har, har. <gasps> no, Mermadia. No, no. Can Mermadia swim? I can't remember if she can swim or not. Oh, too late. There she goes. <laughs> Mermadia, says Captain Party. Oh, and he is crying again. The waterworks are on. I'm so sorry. I didn't want it to end like this. Jump in! Captain Party, just don't just stand there. Like, literally jump in the ocean. <gasps> there she is! Here I am, Captain Party. Yes, our girl boss pirate. Of course she knows how to swim. You're really okay? But how? Says Captain Party. She can swim. She must have learned. <gasps> I'm a mermaid! I love the water. Oh my gosh, who would have known? Mermaidia? Captain Meanie is defeated and Mermaidia is safe? This is amazing! Party Pirates, your one pirate story. Congratulations. I'll open up the treasure chest to celebrate. Look! <gasps> so many coins. This is the most treasure I've ever seen in one place. This is the most treasure I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe this. We are rich, says Watermelon Sugar. Oh my gosh, and it all paid off. You see, being a meanie doesn't pay. It's better to be a party pirate. Mermadia says, don't spend it all in one place. Captain Party's like, unless that place is Pirate Pet Island. Wait a second. What is Pirate Pet Island? Are you saying that I can spend this money to get a pet? A pirate pet? Mermadia is just as surprised as we are. She's like, pirate pets? I love pirate pets. Captain Party's like, all party pirates love pirate pets. Can you say that three times fast? All party pirates love pirate pets. All party pirates love pirate pets. All party pirates love pirate pets. Don't challenge me to say things quickly. Because I can and I will. Let's celebrate more by getting pirate pets. Let's go. Well, my very own pirate pet. Land ho! Here be Pirate Pet Island. Oh, I have been waiting for this. Jump on the trampoline. And on to the gangplank. <gasps> Ahoy, kawaii unicorn! Welcome back to Pirate Pet Island! Thank you so much! I, it's wonderful to be here! We pirate pets have another gift for you! Follow me, kawaii unicorn! Follow me! Oh my gosh, I gotta follow Polly! Polly the parrot and she's calling out to me! This is so exciting! Watermelon sugar can't wait! She's just raring to go! P 
Pirate Pet Island has a secret entrance, I know you will find it, says Mermadia. Yeah, I reckon I will. Is it down here? This looks like it could be a secret entrance. Maybe I'll just do some more digging. Wow, wouldn't it be cool if I had a pet parrot like Polly for my pirate pet? And then if I wanted to like get into Pirate Pet Island, they could just like fly me in, which would be pretty cool. Um, but until that happens, I guess I am stuck trying to find this entrance. Hmm, where could it be? I mean, they've certainly done a good job at making it secret, and that's probably a good idea because we don't want Captain Meanie coming over here and trying to steal all the pirate pets, and you know he would. Oh, 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 okay. This seems promising. Oh no, we've hit more rock. Come on, secret entrance. You wanna be somewhere? It's a well kept secret. Okay, watermelon sugar, any luck? You found anything? I feel like we've almost dug out this entire hole. But where is it? Hmm. Okay, while well, I'm digging, let me know in the comment section what kind of pirate pet you would like. Maybe find an emoji for your pirate pet. Oh, I think I found it. Everyone, I think I found it. This looks like a secret entrance to me. Just gotta find where it leads to. Oh no, we've hit another blockade. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Maybe over this way? Secret entrance. Oh, oh, welcome to the secret pet pool of Pirate Pet Island. Oh my gosh, we did it. Jump in the pet pool to get your gift, a free pirate pet. This is incredible. Okay, I want to jump in. What am I going to get? Oh, I really hope I get a parrot. Look, the parrots are so cute. Pirate pet, pirate pet, which one will you get? <gasps> You've adopted a pirate pet. It's Bubbly the goldfish. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. They actually look just like my real life goldfish, so that is pretty cute. Polly's like, behold, more pet pools and so many more pirate pets to adopt. Jump into the pet pools to adopt more pirate pets. Oh, wow. So I can actually have a whole army of pets? You need more gold coins to adopt these pirate pets. More gold coins, you say? Well, that won't be a problem for me because I am a party pirate and I am heading back to the high seas. Ahoy! Welcome to the Time Travel Institute, the forefront of scientific revolution. You are here to extract a criminal element a rogue time traveler, once a decorated innovator. They are somewhere, changing history, all being sustained by the paradox machine. Okay, buds, you heard the robotic voice. It's time to go to the time machine. We are here to find a rogue time traveler and criminal element. Well, this is a bit exciting for me, and I don't know if this is a surprise to you, but I have actually never been time traveling before. I know, little first for me. Bit fun. I will be in your ear along the way. You may refer to me as C. Nice to meet you, C. My name is Holly. Welcome to the time ship. I am tracking the rogue's location. We could end up anywhere in all time and space. Are you ready? I mean, maybe I'll do a quick wee before we leave. Oh, we're leaving. Okay, never mind. That's cool. I can pee in time and space, right? Oh my gosh, we're going to a wormhole. <gasps> the North Pole, 1909? We're in 1909. This is where the geographic North Pole was first identified by American explorer Robert Peary. Oh my gosh, we're on the North Pole. Okay, time to greet Robert Peary. I have a feeling he's going to be pretty surprised to see me. Um, there's like not a whole lot of foot traffic up here at the North Pole. And okay, we just got to jump over a few ice flows um, to find the explorer. And I wonder if Robert has seen this rogue time traveler. Like, have they been to the North Pole before? What could they possibly be doing here? And what do they want? The robot voice said that the person we're looking for is a scientist and renowned innovator. So, I don't know. They might know something that we don't. We gotta find them. Oh, here's Robert. Oh, he's got his paddle. <laughs> How strange. I appear not to be the first here. Oh, I think he saw me. I say, penguins at the North Pole. Ah, they're so cute. Be on the lookout, team. Why? Something's wrong here. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. What's that noise? Get back. Careful, Robert. Let it down. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh! They fell through! What is that? Robert? Follow him What? Follow him into the hole in the ice floe? This seems dangerous, but okay! <laughs> Whoa, this is unexpected. Okay, it's not just a hole in an iceberg, it's a crystal cave? What is this place? 
Robert, Robert, where are you? Um, penguins, penguins that seem suspiciously far from home, where are you? How do we think that the penguins got from the South Pole to the North Pole? Like, did they swim the whole way? Did they take a boat? Maybe they've got some frequent flyer miles that they wanted to use up. Whatever the reason, I got to agree with the robot voice. It is a little bit suspicious that there were four penguins at the North Pole when they are totally not a native species to this area. It's like something strange has got to be going on there. Here's something really cool that I want to tell you. Um, where I live in Australia, there are fairy penguins, which are teeny tiny penguins. They only grow 30 centimeters tall, which is the size of a ruler. And they are the cutest things I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, if you've ever seen a penguin in real life, um, leave a penguin emoji in the comment section. I'll go first. I have never seen big penguins, but I have seen teeny, teeny, tiny fairy penguins. So I will be leaving a penguin emoji. Tell me if you have seen fairy penguins or if you have seen big boy penguins. Both are cute. We love every single penguin, except for evil penguins that might be trying to trick me and my new friend, Robert, famous explorer. Oh, what is this? <gasps> it's the penguins. What are they doing? What is this place? What kind of witchcraft is this? Okay, Robert thinks the penguins are witches. They're robots. What? The rogue have been here. Robot penguins? Be very quiet. Shh. Don't wake them. Do robots sleep? Quick, they're starting up again. <gasps> Try deactivating them. What? How do you do that? Is there like a button on the back of their head? Ooh, repeat the given sequence to disarm the pengbots? Okay, um, I guess I can try to do that. This is a really weird way to turn off a robotic penguin. <gasps> try again. So sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It was fishy, wasn't it? Fishy, there we go. Okay, give it to me again. Oh, is it fishy then rat? Fishy rat? Cool. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, we are disarming these pengbots. Do we have to do this for every single pengbot? I love this system, though. Pretty cool. Here at Kawaii Unicorn, we're all about providing you with useful information. And um, if you ever come up against a robotic penguin in real life, particularly one that's out of place, you know, it's in the North Pole, it's supposed to be in the South Pole, um, you know, you're going to want to know how to disarm them. And that's what we're all about here. You did it. I did it! Yes! Okay, and oh, what's that noise? And oh. I think you may be stable out the lab. Oh. I'll teleport you back. Thank you. Hang on. Okay. Quick, please. Click. That was a close one. It really was. The rogue is fast, but we're catching up. Let's see where his path takes us next. Should we have a cup of tea with Robert before we leave? Or okay, maybe we'll just head back into space. That's fine. Space and time. We love it. I didn't want a cup of tea anyway. I wanted to go into the wormhole to ancient Egypt. We're now in the year 539 in ancient Egypt. Wow. Something looks wrong here. Looks wrong? What is it? I suspect the rogue has interfered with history. Oh, yep. I see it. <laughs> um, I think the rogue traveler might have made a few changes. Why is there a salon and an airline? What the? This is... Since when did ancient Egypt have street lamps? Ooh, good this point. Technology doesn't belong here. <gasps> um, this is not just a small change. This could change the entire course of history. <gasps> oh, I'm getting a message. It says, Holly, you need to find all the fragment pieces scattered around the city. I've marked them in green. Follow the arrow on screen. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess I can do that. But who is asking me this question? Is it my, is it my robot friend voice? Is it the rogue traveler? Is it a voice from within? Um, but I mean, that's cool. I guess I will try to discover the fragments. I think there might be a fragment over here somewhere. Wow, I'm really discovering the city. Oh, oh, there it is. I see it, but how do I get to it? Maybe I can get up here, jump, yes. Oh my gosh, I see other fragments scattered throughout the city. This is actually a really nice way to explore the city. It's pretty strange though, because like it's a massive city and there is literally nobody around. Like I have not seen a single soul since I arrived. What's really confusing to me is the rogue time traveler. Like they're a scientist and innovator. Like they have a really good understanding of time travel and what its potential consequences would be. Like what possible reason could they have for introducing futuristic technology to ancient Egypt? Like none of it makes any sense. Team. I'm detecting a strange signal towards the pyramid. 
Oh my gosh, strange signals are actually one of my hobbies. Definitely gonna have to check out the pyramid. I wanted to check out the pyramid before I left anyway, because you know, it's not every day that you get to go to ancient Egypt in the year 539 or whatever. Um, so yeah, was not going to leave without checking out the pyramids. And now that I know that there's a strange signal, like cannot resist. Cool, cool, all right. Strange signal, feels like it's coming from this direction. Yep, it's got a bit of a magnetic pull. I just can't help but... Oh, ooh, I think I see someone up there. Who could it be? Is it our rogue traveler? Identify yourself. You must help me. What's wrong? I'm stuck between this life and the next. Is that why you've got no face? Find the cabinet of souls. Sounds creepy. It will release me. Hmm. The rogues displace the natural order of the universe. Help the boy king. Yeah, that guy with no face. Be safe. Traps and curses loom ahead of you. Okay, thanks, boy king. The cabinet of souls is an all-knowing extraterrestrial artifact that went missing from the Institute's collection many years ago. Oh my gosh, what is it doing here? That is a mystery. I wonder what's behind those doors. Yeah, me too. Cabinet of souls or more robot penguins? Uh, okay, no robot penguins, but okay, this could be a map to the cabinet of souls? Okay, well, I mean, it looks a little bit tricky, and I'm not... Oh my gosh, okay, that's a bit scary. The cabinet has the ability to wake the souls of the recently departed. That's it now. Only it can restore the boy king to the afterlife. Find it. Well, I really do hate the idea of anyone being trapped between worlds, so I guess we do have to find this cabinet of souls somehow. Just take a look here at my little mappy, and okay. Okay. Maybe I can navigate the whole way like this by hitting a wall. <laughs> Now, earlier, when you mentioned the souls of the recently departed, they're not gonna come out anywhere here, are they? Like, I'm not gonna start seeing ghosties. Am I? Because I'm just trying to help out a boy king here. I don't want to, you know, be starting any beef with any ancient Egyptian ghosties. It's not really my style. I just want to come in, find the cabinet of souls, and head home. Or back to space and time, whatever. Um, you know, we've still got a rogue criminal element to find, and looks like he's been causing problems all over the universe. Um, and in many different time zones. Oh, this looks like it's promising. Great. You found the key. Yes. Let's get back to the door. All right, cool. All right, I found one of, looks like, three keys that I might need in order to complete this little challenge. Oh, wow, I can run. <laughs> Just make things a little bit faster. Although, I'm kind of wondering, should I save some of my stamina in case any of those departed souls come? Because that could be a little bit of a problem. Huh? Okay, weird pop-up. You are safe from the Sphinx here. Um, I actually haven't seen a Sphinx yet, so great to know that I'm safe here, but I do feel a little bit worried now. <laughs> I don't feel better. Um, okay, I guess that's not the door I can go through. Or maybe I need a different key? Or, I don't know. Hmm. Um, either I don't know how to use my key, or I <laughs> possibly need to find a different key. Is this one gonna work? Open up. Open! <laughs> I guess not. Okay, we'll have a look at our little map, see where we are, and okay, this whole middle bit here, like, what is happening? <laughs> what do the question marks mean? <laughs> Ooh, hey, this looks promising. That looks like a giant lock, and I have a giant key. Okay, success. Looks like we've got a whole new area open to... Okay, what's this? Okay, that seems to be the Sphinx, and they look... Yeah, they look angry. Um... You shouldn't have come down here. You've awoken the curse. Could the curse go back to bed? I can foresee a new prophecy. Your death. Have another look. Are you sure? Maybe it's my new friend, Steph. Get out of there now. You reckon? Run. Okay, time to run. Hide in the safe rooms. Safe rooms? Don't let the Sphinx see you. Okay, uh, just have a quick check on my map here. Okay, there's a lot of safe rooms. Um, uh, I kind of have to find them pretty quickly, and oh my gosh, it's coming! Oh no! <laughs> the ground is shaking, it's gonna crush me! Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear. Oh yep, okay, I've been finished. <laughs> Two lives left. Oh, I'm safe from the Sphinx here. Okay, cool. I'm in a little safe area, apparently. Um, but I still gotta find those other keys, and I still gotta find the Cabinet of Souls. Now I've got a Sphinx. Um, to contend with, so that does make things a little bit more difficult. I really should not have opened that door. Oh, I don't know what that's all about, but... Hmm... This has suddenly got a little bit more scary. <laughs> I feel like I can hear them. 
Yeah, I can hear those footsteps. Okay, I gotta get I gotta get it to a safe area. Where are they? Oh, here's something! I'm safe from the Sphinx here, and I've got another key. Okay, hopefully this key doesn't open up another door that just like releases another Sphinx or something, because I don't want to have to deal with two of those. Okay, according to the map, the other key should be just around the corner here. There we go, third key, let's get it! I wonder if all three of these keys open up different doors, or maybe one of them actually opens the Cabinet of Souls, which is still pretty exciting, really want to find that. Oh, look at that door! It's got two locks, and I've got two keys! Okay, let's try this out. Does this work? Okay, yes! Awesome! Oh my gosh, it's them! What are they doing? Hey, you, stop! Oh, nope, he disappeared. I am the cabinet of souls. I see all. I feel all. I am all. Dramatic. You fear for your lives. You've traveled so far in search of the road. Sure have. Help a gal out. I return the boy king to his rightful place in the afterlife. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. He'll be delighted. Time runs then. The darkness awaits you in the future. The truth will find you. Will it? Oh no. I transported the cabinet back to the ship. It belongs in the future. Okay, well, that's good at least. Transport here to London, England, late 1500s. What? We're leaving already? The rogue isn't far off. Well then, goodbye ancient Egypt and hello wormhole! Alright, in we go. I'm starting to get used to this. London, 1599. Wow, what's it gonna be like? Oh, it really smells like 1599 out here. Hey, I think the rogue's been here too. Why are there lights and televisions? This technology shouldn't exist in the 1500s. The rogue must be near. You can't stop. You won't stop. Okay, but what if we had a little bit of a chat? Because I'm kind of confused about your motivations. Look at the screens. Oh my gosh, they're trying to send us a message. Help me. Go to the Globe Theater? That's Shakespeare's Globe! Okay, no problem. And oh my gosh, there it is! It looks beautiful! The path to the Globe Theater is blocked. Pesky hay bales? There's another way in. Back door? The sewage. The sewage. Okay. Sure. It's always the sewage. Oh. According to my report, mm -hmm. the smell in there is unbearable. Oh, it sure it's is. Better you than me. Okay, but you're a robot, so I kind of feel like, if anything, you probably should have been sent on this mission. <laughs> if there was going to be a smell element. <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> Thank goodness there's all of these crates down here, though, because if I had to swim through this sewer, I think I would lose it. It's like, why am I even doing any of this? Like, is this my job? Am I like a time officer or something? Like, am I on shift right now? Am I getting overtime? I need to talk to my union. I didn't know I was going to have to go into a sewer. Okay, unexpected. I've been to Shakespeare's Globe, and it did not look like this. Okay, someone's on stage. <gasps> it's a trap. Bill? Get out of here. What are you doing here? The future is changing. The Paradox machine is overloading. <coughs> Humans, go to the... The what? The what? Witchcraft. Witchcraft? You think you can stop me? Yes. Sent here from the future to yes. save the past. Yes. I think not. Really? Defeat the devil. Okay, Billy, I'll try my best. The world is wrong. A lie. A performance. Time to end the charade. I need more info. No time for explanations, apparently. Fear my robotic creatures. Okay, show us your robots. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm afraid. Yeah, I fear them. They're like freaky little robot spiders. Yeah, no, I don't love this. <laughs> oh no, they're going to try to eat me. I need to get to the rogue. Ooh, attack one of the generators. That's a bit exciting. Okay, is this a generator? Guess I'll just smack it. Oh, no, my arrow's pointing this way. Is this a generator? What's a generator? Oh yeah, here we go. Smack this one. Okay, I'm gonna shut down your source of power. Wait, why is William Shakespeare here if it's the 1800s? Makes no sense. Okay, get him. Get him. I shall become a god. Really? That's the goal? Okay, spicy goal. Ouch! Oh no, I'm gonna eat my spiders. <laughs> All right, rogue, I'm ready this time. Okay, maybe I'm not ready this time. These spiders are really quick, ah! Gosh, there's so many of them. Oh, attack one of the generators. Okay, I'll get this one this time. Get the rogue nice and vulnerable. 
I'm really gonna need an explanation though at the end of this. Like I worked really, really hard to try to sort out these various timelines and difficulties. So I'm just gonna attack some more of this generator. <gasps> the rogue is vulnerable. It's my time to strike. Let Shakespeare go. You shall not defeat me. Okay, what if we went for a nice lunch together instead? Or should I just keep trying to destroy your robots? Okay, I'll just keep on the robot destruction because they are trying to attack me. So, you know, this is all just self-defense. Ooh, time to attack the generators. Okay, maybe this time it'll work. The rogue is vulnerable. Let's get in. Why do you hate classic Stop. literature? You can't win. You sure? You can't survive. Yeah, sure? No. Think I might have. They showed me the truth of all things. This world, you and me, everything around us, it's not real. Come again? We exist only in data. What do you mean? So none of this is real? Everything I'm seeing Oh my gosh. All the world's a stage. And let's just play us. You did it. Did I? The future is saved. Oh, amazing. We're all so proud of you. Cute. You return home with Victoria. Wow, love that. So that's stuff he said about nothing being real. Thoughts? The future is safe once more. Heroes of time. You will always be remembered. I have questions. As a token of our gratitude. Questions? We present a gift. <gasps> a gift? Okay, never mind. Never, no questions. You will live on forever. Inside our hearts. Our minds. And our universe. The metaverse. Okay, so is that the Prezi? Because I was kind of thinking that it might be like Chalky or something. You know what? That's fine. The, the Metaverse is great. Um, thanks so much.